Hey guys, Machines of Metal here. Just working on this Kohler CH740 27 horsepower V twin engine on this Toro blower, this uh, Toro Pro Blow. And uh, these have an interesting fuel pump. It's actually part of the valve cover. So I've got the valve cover removed here. You can see the uh, intake and the exhaust valve. This is your fuel line to your carburetor. And uh, this is your fuel pickup hose from your fuel tank right there. Um, so I've got the valve cover apart over here. What's going on guys is as this machine is running, the crankcase is filling up with fuel. It's leaking into the crankcase. A lot of guys online will say you've got a problem with your carburetor float valve. You could very well have a problem with it. But in this case, what the problem is, is it's this fuel pump. So this is the valve cover and it sits on top of the motor over those two valves. And this is your inlet and your outlet. The fuel passes through this and it actually gets pumped by this diaphragm. So this diaphragm sits down inside like that. And this sits on top like that. And actually this metal arm attaches underneath to where that spring is you can see and the valve the exhaust valve right here this taps on that metal arm causing the diaphragm to move up and down pumping the fuel now what happens guys is if you look closely at this diaphragm is I don't know if you can see that but there's a tear right there little tiny tear right there and what happens is the fuel runs through the diaphragm it leaks through and it just literally drips down into the engine through the valve cover and it slowly fills the engine up with gas it thins out the oil and at some point when there's uh, too much oil and gas inside the engine the machine will start to blow smoke plumes of blow smoke when you see that you know that you've got gas leaking into your engine now like i said some guys say the problem comes from the uh, needle and seat valve in the carburetor being uh, blocked or not sealing properly, which could very well be the case. But in this case, guys, I've had that carburetor apart a couple times and cleaned it. I finally decided to pull the fuel pump apart and sure enough, there's a tear in the diaphragm. And that's the problem right there. So you need to replace this diaphragm. Um, I believe you can buy these separately off of uh, your parts supplier. It's easier, honestly, just to buy a whole new fuel pump. These things are only about 200 bucks, and uh, it'll actually save your engine in the long run. If you continue running it like this, you will destroy your engine. Hit some subscribe buttons on the screen to see more videos like this, and uh, thanks for watching.